Chelsea and today we'll be doing a PA chest x-ray. Before I go get my patient, I'm going to set up my tube. I need to make sure that all my d locks are in and secure, that way they match accordingly to the wall bucky. I'll then turn my tube so the beam is horizontally to the wall bucky and make my grid lines match up with my light lines. I'm going to be using a 14 by 17 hour size. It's going to be length wise, uh, landscape wise and put that in there. Go ahead and mark my marker for my patient's right side and using my right. I'll then go and get my patient. Patient. I'll check my patient's armband. I'll check the name, the date of birth, and the patient ID, and I'll ask for my patient's name and their date of birth. Once I've checked that, I'll ask the history, ask what happened, when it happened, the pain, if there's any swelling, or anything else that may have occurred. I'll, if the patient's female, I'll then ask if there's any chance she could be pregnant. If not, I'll ask the date of her last menstrual cycle. Then we're going to shield. We'll place the shield around her, since the beam will be coming behind her, and wrap it around. I'll then ask my patient to go stand facing the wall bucky. Once she's there, I'll feel for a bony landmark called the vertebral prominence. On females, you go seven inches down this ways, and on males, you go eight inches down. So I'll feel for that place my hand there and I'll press my light field. Once I get it where I want it, I want to make sure my collimation is exact so I get everything I need. I'll then ask my patient to roll her shoulders forward and keep that position. Make sure you mark it with her right and right with your right marker. I will then ask, I will then tell the patient to keep that position still and try not to move as little as possible. I'll keep her shoulders forward and then I will say, take a deep breath in and hold it as I make the exposure. Once I make the exposure, I'll tell her to relax. We'll take the shield off and I'll walk her back out to the waiting room. And it's PHS.